Well, giddy up, little doggies, for the return to Mitsuwa, part two, where the wasabi apple faces off against the marketplace. In this episode, we're gonna wrangle with the Daiso, square off against Little Japan, USA, and hogtie ourselves at Kino Kunia Bookstore. And to top it all off, we're gonna wash it all down with a tall glass of Umacha bubble tea. Enjoy. Cause this one's a doozy. Yeah! Yasu has graciously given us each $10 to spend in the Daiso to see what wondrous things we can find. Let's go have a shopping spree. Our first stop is at the famous Japanese $1 store, Daiso. Then known as Yano Shoten, Daiso started with humble roots in 1972 as a small street vending shop, but has since grown to be known globally as Japan's top dollar and up store. We're here in the Daiso, which is basically like, uh, what would you say, like a Japanese dollar store or dollar and up kind of store. Little things that you need that are Japanese and otherwise, they've got a lot of Japanese snacks. If you're into Japanese snacks, you can't find it at Mitsuwa, you want something maybe a little cheaper. Like home goods, paper goods, seasonal things, just kind of like your, your one-stop shop right here. One of Daiso's huge attractions, at least for me, is their excellent selection of Japanese snacks and candy. But don't be fooled, Daiso has a lot more to offer, and not just Japanese products either. I was surprised to see the vast selection of home goods and cookingware on display. Junko, however, made a beeline straight to the kitchen goods. A chef's heart is always drawn to cooking. Seriously, you can find just about anything you want. From socks for your chair legs, to an armada of pens, pencils, and stationery, to paper panda humidifiers. <laughs> That's a heavy one. <laughs> Much to my delight, Daiso also has a large selection for kids. Everything from plush toys, to building blocks, to cute stickers, and novelty poos. I could spend the whole day just combing through their shelves. If everyday goods and practicality isn't your thing, don't worry. Just head next door to Little Japan, USA. I promise you won't be disappointed. Servicing fans of Japanese pop culture on the East Coast for over 25 years, Little Japan, USA has become a kind of nerd mecca. And I say that with the utmost love. Despite this well-deserved reputation, however, Little Japan is first and foremost a general store for all things Japanese. Kitschy, or otherwise. You'll see what I mean later in the video. But let's start with the good stuff first. Stepping through the entrance, you can immediately see what all the hype is about. Little Japan knows what the people want, and is very happy to deliver it. We are at Little Japan USA, just next to Mitsuwa. I have no idea what we just stepped into. This is amazing. I could spend an entire lifetime in this place. They've got plushes, they've got action figures, backpacks, toys, posters, clothing, masks, statues. This place is awesome. <laughs> you have to come here. Oh my God. And it's super safe. Too. They check the temperature at the door. You can't touch anything unless you have these gloves on. Oh, this is like paradise. If you cannot wait for the convention season, just come here. Get a little fix. You'll make it. It's awesome. <laughs> You'll be happy to see a lot of familiar faces, like our friend Pikachu. Don't worry. He's only mad because you haven't taken him home yet. 
And there's lazy little Gudetama. What are you doing there, little buddy? If it's all a bit too much for you, take a break with Rilakkuma and Kaoru. If you prefer to show off your love to the world, Little Japan has a huge collection of t-shirts, backpacks, and totes. When you love something so much, sometimes you just have to show it off. When we dance, I've got nothing to prove. What is this place? <laughs> I may be wrong in this, but it seems to me one of the biggest draws of Little Japan is a collection of pop finals and figures. They have everything from well-known characters to some pretty strange babies. Hey, there's Godzilla! Who wants to play some Quidditch? Maybe not with these guys though. For all the engineers and builders out there, you can find the walls lined with all types of models of varying difficulties. All is good, I am ready to groove All is good, I am ready to move When we dance, I've got nothing yep. to Yep, this place is out of this world. But like I said, there's far more than just toys to be found here. I was super surprised to find that Little Japan also has quite a few home good products for sale too. Everything from Yukata, The futon, the kitchen knives, they even have a rather impressive collection of pottery. It's almost like walking through a museum. Admittedly, some of it is a little kitschy, but sometimes kitschy is exactly what you need. Of course, I couldn't just jump off leaving you with the pots and paintings. Totoro wanted to say goodbye. Until next time, buddy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, the gotcha phone. <laughs> Next up, Japan's most famous bookstore, Kinokuniya. Although you can find a bit of spillage from Little Japan, Kinokuniya is the place to come for serious lovers of Japanese entertainment and literature. So right next to Little Japan USA is Kinokuniya, a Japanese bookstore. It has a lot more than just books, but if you're looking for anything manga, anime, Japanese related, non Japanese related, this is the place to come. Kinukuniya has been around since 1927, started in Shinjuku, Tokyo, and came to New York City in 1983, I believe. So it has been here for quite some time. If you're in the area, you gotta swing by here too. It's a package deal. of stationery, I could not subject you to this glorious aisle. Sorry, but not sorry. 
definitely make sure to peruse the hundreds of Japanese magazines. They've pretty much got everything. Including this guy. And these guys. Did I mention they have manga? Like, a lot of manga. Over half the store is dedicated to these cereals. They even have manga for kids. And speaking of kids, Kinokuniya's got all the classics and more in their kids' corner. If you're more of a visual learner like myself, you'll be pleasantly surprised to find maybe the largest collection of Japanese movies I've ever seen compiled in one place. From Japanese blockbusters and classics, to anime masterpieces, if it's gonna be anywhere, it'll be here. My favorite discovery of the store was definitely the Miyazaki collection. I love the Japanese cover art. The way nature intended, or, well, <laughs> the way Miyazaki intended at least. Once you've spent all your money and energy from your shopping spree, take a quick stroll on over to Umacha, right on the Hudson River, for a refreshing and unique bubble tea experience. The view cannot be beat, and the tea is pretty good too. Yeah, that's uh, incredibly unexpected. I've really never tasted anything like it before. Right through my chow, which is just on the river. Forgive me, I've got tapioca pearls in my mouth. Shouldn't chew and talk at the same time, but it's impossible not to do with this. So I got the dom cham, which is basically, it looks like a foamed cream cheese on the top that's iced with, I want to say like a hot black tea on the bottom. So it's this awesome kind of journey in your mouth. And you put the straw in, it starts cold, and then just surprisingly, all of a sudden, it's like this warm tea, it's really good. Do be prepared, it is rather sweet, kind of like molasses. I think there's brown sugar in it, which is where it gets a, its sweetness from. Mm. How was yours? Good, right? Mine is adult flavor. No tapioca. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm dying. Oh, and I found heaven in your eyes. Tell me it's all mine. Did I mention the view? Because, wow. Can't get over how you talk to me. Like I'm all you ever gonna need. Seeing colors that I've never seen. I love it how you love me. As always, thank you again so, so, so much for joining us on another episode. We hope you enjoyed the tour of Mitsuwa, the now open Mitsuwa, and more importantly, the business is next to it. Oh, what a delight. I did not expect to find such cool things here. You could literally spend an entire week and still not have seen everything. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you are in the area, if you're not in the area, who cares? You have to come. If you like Japanese culture and Japanese trinkets, you gotta come here. It is awesome. But thank you so much once again. Thank you, Junko. Always love having you on the show with us. Thank you. And as you know, when Junko's on the show, you know we're gonna have some good cooking for you coming up next. So we'll see you for another episode of The Chef's Apple. Okay. Ready? The big reveal. Let's see what everybody got from our favorite Japanese dollar store, Daiso. Junko, you want to grab your stuff? Yeah, all right. 
what you got? Everything is silver. <laughs> Usually, I mean, this is like a at least $8. Yeah. $10. Yeah. $199. $199. <laughs> $199. Yeah. 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 This one was three. Oh, that this is, is expensive. That is very. <laughs> that is very Japanese. This is very. Ooh, we're going over the budget. Show, show us yeah. what is it? Cleaning stuff. It's a straw, straw cleaner. cleaner. Wait, wait. So you use use that not for straws, what, or you're gonna use that for straws? Save the well, whales. Well, you know, has to have this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Been, that's uh, a good thing. Maybe I should get yeah, one. Yeah, you oh, go back and buy it. So can. it's only two bucks. You said this is my $10. Very, very practical. Oh, hey, yeah, nice. I love it over there. All right. Huh? I mean, right? So <laughs> I'm going to show you mine. This for neighborhood kid. It's above three, three years old, so that'll do. He says it's for the kid. It's actually for him. I am all about practical things. So this is a uh, stick, stick, what do you call it? Sticky notes. Sticky notes. Nice color. This oh, would yeah. go with your wooden interior very well. Organic. The organic. Very organic. Really Black and white sponge. What Macho, kind of sponge? Very male. Melanie one? So That's one ninety nine. Two dollars, yeah. Two bucks. I have to get this. Yeah. This one is for tea. You put like the uh, leaf leaf tea. Yeah? Exactly, exactly. I'm bleached, organic, like this. And, and then, finally, this is boring. This for but that's $1.99, right? $1 yeah. $1 Five items, $10. There we go. Yay! Yay, you do you. I am almost embarrassed to share <laughs> what I got. Let's start out. I don't even know what, what my... Let's, let's just go big. Oh, you're going to love this. You got to have <laughs> the poop toppers for your pins and pencils. If you're not writing with poop on the top, I don't want to write it. <laughs> what kid doesn't like poop? <laughs> every, every, every yeah. 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 Why do they yeah. make these things? I'm so glad they do. Second, my nice dino Lego set. That's a dino? <laughs> yeah, they had donuts, hamburgers, dinosaurs, people. Oh, like that's dogs. fun. Yeah. $1.99. Very Japanese, very Japanese. Hawaii stickers <laughs> of kitty cats. I didn't wearing... know you have that kind of a... Uh... <laughs> wow, what do you do with that sticker? Wearing kitty cat stuff. Doing kitty cat things. Gotta love the stickers. One ninety nine. I'm sorry, two fifty. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Last but not least, how could I not? When my eyes saw this. Ah, you can Every make your hamburger, burger right? candies, chocolate candies shaped like a burger. Why wouldn't <laughs> I get that? Two fifty. Right there at the dice. So everything you need for practicality, the candy, to poop. Nice. Nice. Thank you to the nice. peanut gallery. I appreciate your support. <laughs>